Hey folks, and welcome to a beautiful morning here on Soy 6. Yeah, it's actually Christmas morning, um, about 7, 7.30. And I um, wanted to go out and eat some breakfast, uh, get a breakfast out. I don't, I don't eat breakfast out a lot, maybe once a month. Uh, I think breakfast is one of the, not one of the best values in terms of eating out, but about once a month I like to do it. So uh, before I eat breakfast, I thought I'd just do a little uh, roundabout here and see what's going on in the morning. Soy 6 is, uh, is all closed up, of course, and they're cleaning up and everything. And I, what I really wanted to look at, though, um, was I wanted to go down to Walking Street um, and, and just see... What uh, what's doing down there in terms of setting up for the big New Year's Eve celebration? So here's here's Walking Street. Let's go down here. This is usually even a little interesting in the morning. Sometime, even though it's early morning, there's uh, there's people that haven't uh, haven't made it home yet from the night before, um, and they they clean up down here, and uh, it's it's always something going on. Um, it's a nice place to, to walk in the morning if you like to take a morning walk. Uh, but in this, in this case, we're going to ride. But um, generally speaking, they, there's a, a pretty big shindig that happens at the end of Walking Street, uh, Bally High Pier area. Um, there's like a big, there's like a big uh, kind of waterfront promenade area there. And uh, they'll have all kinds of uh, shows and... Uh, well, vendors and and it's a party and, and of course the fireworks uh, you, the fireworks usually are out in the uh, I, I believe they're fired from barges out in the uh, out in the bay but um, of course that's a big part of the evening to, to watch the fireworks down there and it's a good I guess the one of the most direct uh, closest you can get to the the, the fireworks um, without uh, without being out on a boat somewhere. Um, although I've always said there are probably better strategic viewing points for looking at the fireworks than standing right out there. There's uh, as, long as, you, as long as you can get up high, either in a hotel or uh, up on Pratamnak Hill or something, you can also get some really good views of the fireworks. But um, I wanted to go out here and see what's, uh, see what's doing because usually it's a big setup. It's usually a big... Uh, Kind of, kind of a big display of stuff that they have to set up, and uh, we'll, we'll go take a look at that, and uh, and then after that, um, we'll double back and and we'll have some breakfast. Uh, I'm going to eat breakfast down at uh, Retox Game On this morning. That's down on Soy Honey. So, so we'll do that after um, after we take a look at down here. But yeah, Walking Street looks like it was kind of. Um, saying goodbye to the night you know some people still finding their way home but uh pretty much all all sorted out so let me get turned around here while i do that i'll show you what i saw in the thai news and i believe this is a bangkok channel so they're really promoting this they are promoting this to be quite a party there's all kind of a, a talking about what what events are going to be there what performers are going to be there it was a whole news program and i didn't understand a lot of it but suffice it to say it, it's it's going to be uh it's going to be a hoot down here so here we are you see they're already getting ready for stuff looks like it's going to be a major media type event setting up stages over here and i'll i'll swing in here i think you can cut into here and i'll get a closer look at this stuff but I think morning's a good time to do this before there's any kind of a, before there's a lot of traffic and uh, people milling around and, and the workers really get started. Um, but yeah, this this will be the area. I guess that's going to be like the main stage, the back. I guess that would be like the back of the main stage here. All up here in the shadow of the uh, of the hotel that never was. They started building a big hotel there and never never finished it just kind of sits there but yeah look at all this big stages they're still setting it up now keep in mind this is christmas morning so they've got about a week a little bit less than a week uh i guess these i guess these might be the workers i don't know um not sure about that but a big crowd of people there and you see they got a really nice gold christmas tree over here and these great big transformers you'll see these these transformers around different places they're in front of some businesses but these ones really look legit these were like full life-size transformers like from the movie and a lot of detail um 
they're almost a little scary. I guess all these white um, canopies, I guess this will, will all be for vendors uh, selling different stuff, I'm guessing. And some more down here on the left looks like. Um, yeah, you always have people selling stuff. There's going to be a crowd of people down here. It will be crazy. I usually don't go down here because I don't, I don't like big crowds. Um, but uh, I'm, I might swing through here and see what's doing. I don't know. I don't know yet. But anyway, um, that's the setup. And uh, let's, uh, let's head on back over and uh, see about that breakfast. So yeah, here we are. Just pulled in the soy honey here. Here's Retox on the left. Uh, this other bar isn't open yet, so I don't see any harm in parking right in front of there. Let's go in and look at the menu. So this is like their specials. I guess these would be like menu inserts. And you see you get, you get everything. You get two eggs, two bacon, a sausage, hash browns, uh, pancakes, toast, and tea and coffee and orange juice for 179 baht all in and this is more like an english breakfast here because you get the beans and um and whatever bubble and squeak is not sure about that but you get you get the same nine yards but more of an english vein of it for 179 baht as well i i i should have went with one of those but uh, um i i didn't want all that food i just i just wanted some pancakes and sausage and uh, so i kind of ordered a la carte the waitress kind of convinced me to order a la carte and that was no problem but uh yeah i ended up paying a lot more but anyway um while we we'll wait for the food to come i'll show you the the golf schedule here they actually have golf outings looks like on weekdays pretty much on weekdays and you can pause this and you can see the the location the date the location the price of the cart the green fee the transportation and the time so um i, I do run into people who are golfers and uh, express an interest in playing golf this is one place that will do that Thank you. they also have a christmas dinner here today huh? mm. oh you have christmas dinner here maybe i don't know yet where i have it oh. Yeah, so here's a little look at what I got. Uh, I got the coffee and the orange juice. Uh, the pancakes they make here are, are good, but they're very small. So I had like two a la carte orders of pancakes and orange juice. I think that might be a little bigger than the orange juice that you get uh, with one of those combo meals. But uh, everything I've ever had here at Retox is, is top quality. Uh, the food is, is delicious here. They use good ingredients. Um, 
I just I just kind of got off the rails a little bit by going a la carte. I should have just got the uh, the big combo breakfast and uh, you know called it a day on that. But uh, anyway, there's a little uh, there's a little morning ride here on this Christmas morning, and uh, we're get gearing up for New Year's. That'll be uh, that'll be next week. So I'm gonna leave this one off right here. Uh, still lots to come, but uh, until next time, bye for now. Oh, yeah.